Hey babe. Hey. And hey guys. Um welcome back to another episode of Reality Unzipped the podcast. This is episode 18. Yeah. 18. That's awesome. Episode 18. Hmm, sounds nice. So yeah. how are you feeling today? Good. Good. How about you? I'm okay. I'm more than okay. I'm good. That's I can good. I feel like there are a lot of good things coming our way. That's good. Yeah. It's just good. That's how you feel. Like, you just yeah. feel good. That's good. Okay. That's a good place to be. Not too high, not too low. Patient. Patient? Yes. That's Trying to be patient. Great. Um. So, yeah, I was listening to the radio. If people still do that, I do. I do it. Mm. You don't ever. No, I do it sometimes, but it's rare. It is. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was listening to the radio today, and um, I forgot what station it was, but um, there was a female host, and she had brought up a topic that has been talked about on and off for like a few years now. It's becoming popular for women to propose to men, and she said that. She's been seeing it more on her uh, timeline. She was like, I don't know what the algorithm is doing, but I keep seeing that on my timeline. And there was a point in time where I was seeing that a lot on my timeline, too. I'm like, is this a trending thing or like what is is this a challenge? Like what's going on might here? might be a challenge because I don't think women out there doing that. You don't think so? No. I definitely do. Oh, now you do. I think women are out here doing it. Hmm. I don't agree with it. Not even a little bit. Okay. But there are women, I think, genuinely doing it. All right. Why you sound so sleepy? Come on. What's going on? I'm you, good. You just seem real. Hmm. I'm good. I'm listening to your uh, conversation. Okay. Well, yeah, like, I think that women are definitely doing it. Um, Do you agree with it? Yes or no? I don't know. I don't know. You would let me propose to you? I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't stop you. You wouldn't stop me. Mm-hmm. Well, that's because you know what our plans are. Not because I know what your plans are. I just want to stop you. Seriously? What is wrong with it? Everything. Go ahead and listen. What's wrong with you it? You mean to tell me if we was out in public, mm-hmm. say we was like downtown, and like I don't know, we was at dinner or something. I just got up and got down on one knee in front of everybody and was like, "Will you marry me? <laughs> You're the love of my life. You sitting down in your seat and me on one knee, whipping a ring out my pocket. Mm-hmm. You mean to tell me you would be like, what's wrong with it? You still haven't said anything that's wrong with it. I just feels it. like it strips the masculinity. How? It it strips the balance out of the relationship. How? Because I feel like men are supposed to be the pursuers, the <laughs> hunter, the move maker. Oh, okay. What you laughing for? Because you're saying that, but all that happened. What you mean? Pursuer, all that. All that happened. What do you... Oh, like between us? Any relationship, the man most likely, 90% of the time, pursued that woman. No, it's women out here who are jumping in men's DMs, shooting their shot first, and doing all of that stuff. That's fine, too, but I'm pretty sure that the numbers are way more on the men's side. Yes, I know the numbers are way more on the men's side. I I feel like it's like 80 and 90. 95. Where the man pursued the woman. Yes. And then they got into a relationship. And then it was years in a row. And then the woman decides to propose to him. How does that how does that take So you think because the man did all of the other stuff? No, I'm not saying it's that. okay for the woman to I don't propose. see nothing wrong with it. You still ain't tell me nothing valid that's really wrong with it. You talk about well should It's not a valid man... it's not a valid thing. This isn't a thing of validity. It's more mm-hmm. so Opinion and views. Okay, and opinion. My opinion is I don't see nothing wrong with it. That's wild. Okay, well, that's your opinion. You just said you ain't seen nothing wrong with it either. No, I did not. What'd you say? 
I think everything is wrong with it. Oh, you think everything is wrong with it. And why? I would sooner be a girlfriend for the rest of my life before I propose to you. And you just see, with that type of mindset, that's why. That's why what? You're going to be a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, we'll see about for that. For the rest of your life. <laughs> we'll see about that. You really think this is a game? What's a game? My opinion on this. Like, no. That is cringy on so many levels mm, like i don't think it's cringy it's so flip flop be backwards off balance like it's not off balance and i'm all for uh, i'm trying to figure out a way to make it okay but i just can't make it okay you still ain't telling me nothing wrong with it what's wrong with it it's just like three two <laughs> one still can't say ew. nothing wrong with it ew it's just ew why is it ill Cause I just feel like that is what a man is supposed to do, and we still go and do it. Yes. Okay. Well, prove it by doing it. Prove it. Like it's you want some prove different it. stuff today. Prove like, it. What's going on with you? What do you mean? I think I'm pardoning. I'm pardoning. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, you are. You don't trolling? Look, don't listen. Stay over. Stay in your lane. I I'm, I'm pardoning today. I see what's happening, guys. Yeah, All I'm right. having fun. Yeah, I know you are. Talking about, <laughs> you oh, you sound, you sound really, uh, you sound really dry. I'm like, no, I'm chilling. All right, well, anyway. I'm chilling and pardon. I just think that it is something that the man is supposed to do, without a doubt. Like, if you, no. t- if you didn't pursue me, we wouldn't be talking, we wouldn't be a thing. But I did pursue you. Exactly, that's my point. I know you was like... Checking me out. I did pursue you. Yes, and that is now get on your knees and marry me. <laughs> <laughs> you need help. Go ahead. You need. You want to do it right Jesus. now? You want to do it right now? <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. I'm not even yes. going to joke like I'm about to do that. No. Oh, so you that? Ba- oh, so you just that powerful? It's not a powerful you just thing. That womanish. You can call it prideful. Oh, you that prideful? I don't know what so you want. So you you want me to get on my knees for you, but you want to get on your knees for me? Yes. W- yes, what? What? Yes, sir. Like yes, what? what? Like what do you mean? <laughs> yes, what? Yes, what? What you just said. What about what I just said? I am not mm-hmm. getting on my knees mm-hmm. and pulling a ring out my pocket. Why not? You want me to grow a penis too? Yeah, like, you could do that too. <laughs> Dorian, what is happening? Nothing. Why won't you get on your knees with me? Because it is just, <laughs> it's not funny. I think you're, you're having too much fun with this. Why won't you get on your knees with me? Because I'm not worth it? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm not worth it. You are not worth me. I'm not worth you getting on your knees for me. Then that, right. then we might as well not get married if I'm not worth it. You are worth everything to me. Okay, so why won't you get on your knees for me? Because that's just not the way it's done. Forget how it's the way it's done. If you lived in a world where it was done, would you get your, get on your knees for of me? Of course, it All would right, be then. a societal norm. So you would get on your knees for me right now. It's not a societal norm, and forget I hate to say it. Normal. I succumb to a lot of societal norms. That forget, being one of forget them, forget societal. I have no shame in that. Would you say societal? A societal norm. Forget like, societal norm. Would you get on your knees for me? In a world, where forget the world. Do you think I'm worth it or not? In a world, let's see, where let's see, she avoiding Adam was pulled from we Eve's rib. We ain't going rib. into that yet. We ain't going into that yet. In a world where Adam was pulled from Eve's rib, mm-hmm. yes, I would. No, forget all that, but that Adam is and not Eve's my rib. Forget the calling. It is not. Answer my question truthfully, honestly. Mm-hmm. Would you get on your knees for me? I would, in a world where. Now stop saying in a world. <laughs> would you get on your knees for me? No. Wow. Mm. Mm. I was about to let you walk out the door in a bar when when we first met. I'm not talking about the bar. I saw my future about to walk out the door, and guess what? My future stopped and asked me for my number. Forget the bar. I was just like, "Woo!" Forget the bar. Forget the bar and all that other Mm -hmm. stuff. You have been with me for eight years, Mm -hmm. and you saw all the qualities. Mm-hmm. I'm asking you, after you have seen all of yes, the shit the that I have yes. done for you, yes, the shit that I have gone through with you, 
the shit that we have done for each other. So you just want to know if you if I'm worth if you're worth me doing that. Is that what you want to know? What I want to know is on a serious note. Yeah. Period. Right now, period. forget societal. Would you say societal? Don't matter what I said. Societal. No, I want to know what you said. What you say? Societal. Societal norms. Societal norms. <laughs> forget all that. You laughing? Like. Would you get? Like right now, eight years going into nine years of our relationship, we not married, but we will be getting married, y'all. Don't worry, it's gonna happen. What'd you get on your knees for me? Not right in now? public. I'm being real. Stop would... putting, stop putting stuff on it. Would you just get on your knees for me? Yes or no? I would move mountains for you, babe. What? I would move. You mountains still answer the question? Yes, I would. All right then. But also, I wouldn't. <laughs> I no, would because that's I not would, acceptable. Listen, that's I, not acceptable. <laughs> that's not acceptable. I would because I would do anything for you. Would you get on your knees for me? Period. As a as a feminine woman. Period. Would you get on your knees for me? As a feminine woman. Period. <laughs> period. Would you get on your knees for as me? As a feminine woman. I would not propose right. to you. There it is. Unbelievable. I'm Unbelievable. being real. I'm, I'm, I'm really... Mm, what? I'm disappointed in you. But anyway. No, anyway. We're yeah, not going to slide. I'm disappointed in you. Why? All the, all this stuff we done been through. And you want to get on I your knees would, to me. I, why do you want me to? First, I don't want you to. I want to know if you would do it. Of course I would. All I right said then. you are worth everything So stop me. trying to... Be around the bush but and I'm be real. But I'm talking about it. I'm. I am being real. You have to. When you're being real, you have mm-hmm. to add in societal factors. Forget societal factors. Tradition. Me, you, me, you. Our two kids. Our three kids. Would we? Would you get on your knees for me? Right now. Oops. Just I'll, put it on me. If put it on me. Put it on vibrate. Oh. I would um. <laughs> I would, uh, if the world didn't exist, mm-hmm. I hate to say it, if the world didn't exist. You keep putting all this yeah. stuff on it. Stop saying that. Stop doing that. Babe, I just feel like I'm, I'm bound by certain norms and traditions. See, hey, I'm sorry. You're bound by norms and traditions. I ask about norms and traditions. Mm-hmm. Apart from all of that, yes, all right, I then. would. That's all right. That's all I want to know. But given the world that we live in. And honestly, like, if we take away norms and tra- like, it's too, like you take away that you got to take away everything. It's just so much if you just you forgetting take off. You forget you trying to add you trying to add the world and all that into our relationship. No, the world is not in our relationship. I understand the world is not in our relationship, but society I, societal norms is not in our relationship. It's me and you and the kids in our relationship. Yeah. That is the only people that knows and has been involved and know what happens behind closed doors. Okay. So apart from gender roles and all of that, apart from all of that, yeah, I would propose. I would ask you, like, you want to get married? You get on one knee. I don't. That wouldn't exist. Would you get on one knee? That wouldn't exist in this world that would you're talking about. Would you get about. on one knee and marry me? No, because that wouldn't be a thing. It right, wouldn't whatever. be a a gesture of me getting down on one knee and presenting. Whatever. This and I'm to I'm you. sitting here telling you, that's why I think women do it, because they see the quality that that man has, they see what they looking at, what they've been through, like their relationship, how long they've been together. Or, you know, it could be what they have. I don't know. It could be money. It could be you taking too long. <laughs> Hurry up and marry me. If it could be a woman, lot of things. If that woman feels like he's taking too long, mm-hmm. then she needs to move on. She do need to move on. But. It's no but. It is a but. The women. Now we're putting the real world. Are we back in the real world? Are we We've outside? been in the real no, we world. Haven't. We've been in the real you world. You asked me that question. I was. Outside of no, the I'm real asking world. you that question in the real world. No, right you now. said outside of societal norms, or outside of all of that. Soci- what I'm saying is, societal norm is not in our relationship. That's what I'm saying. They don't know jack 
nothing about our relationship. Me and you know about our relationship. Me and you know what happened behind closed doors. Me and you has been there for each other when we was down, when we was up. Yes, 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 yes. We don't need to go into all that we've done for each other. That's what I'm talking about. That's the real world. The real world is not even included in this relationship today. I'm aware. But I still am not going to propose to you. Well, I'm disappointed in you. Be that. All right, Continue. Because like I said, the day we met, Mm -hmm. if you ain't stopped. The day we met, you just said what? 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 If If you hadn't stopped Mm -hmm. right before we was leaving Uh and got my number, Uh none of this would be. All right. And But you... Being the man, the no. real man that you are, you, you you said I need to shoot my shot. It's now or never. I need to get. No, I need to go after what I want, and well, what I want is her. So let me shoot my shot. Right or wrong, right or wrong, right or yes. wrong. Right. Okay. Nothing yes. else. Now needs you to see be how said. I answered your question. Yeah. Because that's what it was. That's what it was, and I'm not changing. If I was listen. If I was in the real world and I thought about society norms, societal norms, I would have not got your number. No, because societal pursued you. norms, it's normal for the man to pursue the woman. No, I would have not pursued you. You just making stuff up now. I don't. You <laughs> you really just not even. Whatever stuff. you you think you're uh, beneath it all. Beneath or on top of it all. Above. Above it all. Proposing to a man is beneath me. Yes, it is. And what I'm saying is, it shouldn't be. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. You picked the wrong one. I did? I picked the wrong one now. No, not like I it. picked the wrong one. I'm saying you picked the wrong one. Because you're talking a whole lot of shit. <laughs> I picked the wrong one. Of course you didn't. And you know you didn't. The reality is, you bullshitting right now. I'm not. Because I know for a fact, if push came to shove, you would get on your fucking knees for me. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would Dorian, I don't think you always tell me that I try to act like a gangster. And you I being a gangster do, right now? I'm telling you, tripping. I'm not. You are, and I'm I, not. You know what? I'm I would get on my knees for you, as you a should. million times, and you won't get on your knees for me one I think time. You're misinterpreting the get on my knees for like me sacrificing for you. You no, know I would sacrifice. That's for not you. what I'm saying. I'm the not talking one about thing sacrifice. That I would not do is propose to you. I'm <laughs> and sorry. If it's that hard for you, you you think too high of it all. Marriage is that important to you? Marriage is very important to me. Okay. I'm just not proposing to you. Okay. So so you wanna you wanna dig the deeper into marriage? What do you mean? We can, you want to go deeper into marriage? I think you're trying to play games right I'm now. I'm not playing games. Do you want to go deeper into the marriage? Like the conversation? Yes. <clears throat> of course. Why are we not married yet? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are we not married yet? Are you about to place the blame on me? I ain't placing no blame nowhere. I asked you a question. Now, you can you can dodge it and we can move on. And we can say this for another time, or you can answer the question because I know the answer. What's the answer? No, I ain't saying the answer. I don't why know are we not married yet? Is. Why are we not married yet? I don't know. You know why? Why, Brittany? You know why? You can say it. I can mute this part. Mm. You really got me intrigued. No, I'm not. No, we not. Why are we muting? Like you can say if if it's something that you don't want to say, like on. You know why we not married? Why aren't we, Brittany? Stop playing. I'm trying to look into your soul and find the answer. For the last few months, I've been, uh, yeah, a few months, I've been asking you to do a certain thing. Yes. And what is, what is your, uh, uh, you haven't what? But you can't put that all on me. We both been slacking. No, no, it ain't both been slacking. I've been asking you to do that for a few months. I asked you to do it last year. I actually, I'm gonna actually do that for almost over. All right, we can move on. Oh, oh, okay. Cause we know why we're not married yet, y'all. We know why we're not married yet, and the fact of the matter is, it's situational. Situational. It's what is it then? What is it then? Can you focus? It's um. Can you focus? 
Can you put your phone down? It's, um... I'm not proposing to you. Point blank, period. I'm not asking you to propose to you. Yeah, <laughs> so you see how she dodged it. She dodged it because she know what it is. Anyway, we can move on. We can talk about that another episode because no, clearly she don't want to talk I about it. I wasn't finished. Like, I still want to be on the topic of proposing. I specifically think that women do that out of mm-hmm. desperation and impatience. I don't they think so. want to be chosen so bad that yeah. they will over. I don't hate to use that word, but it's like overstep like i feel like there are certain things that only like men in their relationship should initiate Mm -hmm. and women should like everybody's got their lane in a relationship i don't know how that crosses over into same-sex relationships i feel like there's there's a yin and yang in every relationship whether it's same sex or heterosexual um like i feel like there's a yang and yang so in a same-sex relationship the yang is the initiator and the yang is the non-initiator i feel like woman or man can be the initiator yes but That's not when it like. comes to um I don't think a man not when it comes to declaring the family as a family. Like I feel like when I don't think listen, I don't think you know you cut me a, off a by man, the way, Go ahead, go no, ahead. No, I'm sorry, go ahead. I don't think the man loses his masculinity or nothing like that if the woman decides to propose to him before he does it. Well, now if he had it in his plans or in his, you know, schedule or whatever that he was going to do it, and then she, she beat him to the punch. Then she beat him to the punch. I don't see it. Should, it I don't see it. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't. It's just he, I feel she. Like you're she only was in love with that him because you know what you want out of life. Imagine a woman who's dating a man who has not taken that step because he's just literally like not ready. Who's the man already? Yeah. I feel like men. Then he would obviously either lie and say yes or he would tell but the truth and say no. It's embarrassment on top of embarrassment. One, like you proposing, you putting you putting them on the spot. Men I don't think public embarrassed proposals all the time. are appropriate anyway because even with the woman, you putting her on the spot. And I'm the I like type of I like pro- public proposals. I like public proposals. Coming. As a woman who does not like surprises, I cringe when I do see proposes. Like, I don't. and I told you I was watching this woman propose. I feel like they be doing the most for no reason. She was falling out on the floor, yeah, no, acting she like was she was doing. catching a holy ghost. Like she couldn't even stand up. Now she was and doing. And I'm like, girl, can you like, get you off your phone? Just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like you didn't just win like a freaking billion dollars. That would make me go weak at the knees. That's doing too much, but but a lot of proposals are like that, and they just be like all over the place. The realistic proposal of a man getting on his knees and marrying a woman is also, you know, if it's done in public, it's nothing wrong with it. It's nothing wrong with it. If a woman do it in public, it's nothing wrong with it. I'm just not. I haven't progressed in that way yet. I'm sorry. Okay, you haven't progressed in that way. I think, I think, um, as far as progression, we listen to the kids <laughs> crying. I don't know if y'all can hear them screaming. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just sitting there like, mm-hmm, go on. But they okay. Yeah. Um, a woman getting on her knees and marrying a man. The only reason I feel like it's normal for me is because. Honestly, we are on the outside looking in. We don't really know how long they've been together. That's or, true. Or what they or that's true. What their relationship is like, or what they want. Other people may feel that um, you know, he's losing his masculinity or whatever or whatever he y'all think that he might be losing. I don't think he's losing anything. She's not gaining anything, and he's not gaining anything. I see it as she really wants him and he might really want her. Depending on his answer. Depending on his answer. 
And then if it rolls the reverse, if the one the man got on his knee, she might want him, and he really wants her. I guess. It's just, it's just the optics of it all. Like it looks. I ain't looking at optics. I'm looking at love. I'm looking at are they in love? I'm looking at, you know, what did they go through? They probably went through a lot of stuff. You're right. We don't know. That's true. I'm gonna stick by my societal norm. Yeah, your societal norm. And a man gotta get on my knees. Get on, on his, his knees knee. for me. Not even get on his knee. Or do just be the initiator as far as that. And nine times out of ten, y'all have talked about it before this grand public proposal anyway. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, mm-hmm. um, before he pops the question. No, I don't think nine times out of ten. I don't think so. I would hope so. You you don't think that they talk no, about like getting married, you, married first? Oh, you mean like. Yeah, they talked about it, but That's I don't think they know it knew. I don't think he or she knew when it was going to happen. No, 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 no. I mean, they may have a general idea, but if they talk about it, if a man is like talking about marriage with her, mm-hmm. then that's basically saying like just have it in your mind that I want to marry you and make you my wife. Okay. So she shouldn't be thrown off or surprised like Yeah. If, you know, cuz there's those slim chances when women be like, nah, bro, no. Mm. And they actually said that on the radio. Somebody chimed in or called in, I mean, and she mm. um, said that her fiance proposed to her uh-huh. and she said no. Uh-huh. And then he said, well, I'm not going to ask you again. Yeah. And then later on, like, she proposed, she to him. Pro- proposed not really proposed, but she like let she booked a venue for Mm -hmm. them to have a wedding and everything and then they got married Mm. but Mm, but he only proposed to her because he got caught doing dirt (laughs) okay what dirt did he do he was cheating on her and to make it right i don't need to be proposed i don't need to get married they're not married she said and the the host was like so are y'all married still and she's like no (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> and then she explained like, well, he proposed to me because he got caught, you know, doing some things he wasn't supposed to be doing, and I'm like, well, then that's why you said no. So that's a bad example. Mm. But anyway, that's my opinion on it. I just feel like you know, it's a thing. It's a we thing. Got two minutes left. Okay, it's a thing a guy can do, should do. Like it's him, like basically saying where he wants. The direction of his family to go in I disagree with you I think the direction Of the family Doesn't have to do with the initial proposal Doesn't have to do with the initial proposal The man of the family is going to do What he got to do for his family Well of course It don't but matter whether they get married sure or not But you just want to make sure that he wants to be The man of that family Right? Yeah Right And how but do you know that other than him don't, asking a question I don't, I'm I don't, not saying a ring I'm okay. saying Say it's it's people first of all, people do too much with the whole thing of like that ring the ring, the proposal, power. the wedding. I don't think the ring got superpower. You say you don't think? I don't the the ring does not have superpower. The ring or the wedding does not have power. What they is don't. power is base is those two people coming together before God and, and staying together. And to staying stay together till death do us part. Right. That's where the power resides. And yeah. The work that is put in makes that marriage. But see, I'm possible. I'm till death do us part right now. I'm, I'm till death I'm till death do us part when we was two going on in three years into our relationship. I know. We gotta wrap this up. <laughs> wrap it up. Um, that's it. We gonna talk. Yeah, I feel like up, we up, need to talk about up. this some more. Yeah, we will. Talk to us in the comments. Tell me what you think. Okay. See ya.